So former Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea manager Frank Lampard is now the manager of Everton. No, doesn't work with Everton. Sorry. But yes, Frank Lampard is the new manager of Everton. After seeing the list of candidates for the job, it makes sense appointing Frank Lampard. It's funny now because Everton have appointed their third Chelsea marriage in a row. You had Angelotti, you had Rafa Benitez, and now you have Super Frank. I think this would be a good appointment. It took two weeks, took a long time to appoint him. Don't know what they were doing for those two weeks, but I think they wanted to make it sure it was right. But Wayne Rooney was obviously linked with the Everton job. He pretty much told them to fuck off. And we said this on the channel two weeks ago. I said he'd be too loyal to Derby. He's got this mission impossible at Derby. And I think a step to Everton may have been too soon for him. My initial thinking was Duncan Ferguson for interim role. But oh, after losing his first game, maybe the Everton board were like, okay, this is a bit too much now. And then I thought Wayne Rooney would be the manager in the summer. But no, Frank Lampard, it makes sense. And I know some Everton fans want Duncan Ferguson because of the love of his club. But it's like us, we only go to Solskjaer. It ain't going to work. But there are some people who are writing off Frank Lampard, saying that he didn't do a good job at Chelsea. Some saying he did a good job. In my opinion, I think he did a decent job at Chelsea. When he first came in, obviously Sarri was the manager prior. He did win the Europa League with them. But the mood the whole time, I remember my mom's a big Chelsea fan. She just hated watching Chelsea the way he was playing. And Frank Lampard brought the soul, the joy. I know it's a bit cringe. The soul, the joy, the love. A Chelsea man, as Roy Jennings would say, back into Chelsea. And he went on to do good things. He got top four. He didn't have a window to spend it all. Yes, he got Pulisic in, but that was done in January prior before he came. And he did a very good job, I thought. He brought them to the FA Cup final. He lost to Arteta, unfortunately for him. But he really promoted the youngsters. He promoted Reese James, as we remember. He did decent with Tammy Abraham, even though he got fucked out the door because of Lukaku's arrival. Big mistake, in my opinion. And of course, Mason Mount, who's the teacher's pal all of this. He was on loan when Lampard was at Derby. And I thought Lampard did okay at Derby. I think he should have got the Chelsea job in the first place. Didn't get Derby promoted from the championship. Yes, he had that really good win against Leeds when Leeds were sending spies to his training camps and spying what Lampard was going to do prior to the game and the whole spy gate. It was kind of funny, I'm not going to lie. And he came back and beat Leeds in the semi-final of the championship playoffs, but then they lost to Villa in the final. So I found the appointment strange at Chelsea, but with this, it makes more sense. I think he's gotten the taste of success up there, and Everton have been up there in a long time. They haven't never been in the top four in a very, very long time, probably since 2005, I think it was. And there are rumours that he will bring more Chelsea Academy players to Everton before the deadline, but it will be tough, uh, some youngsters. But I think he's bringing one of his coaches. He was also at Everton as academy graduate. It was Anthony Barry, I think it is. So he's going to bring people on his staff who are familiar with the club. I think Everton fans will be happy with that. And it's a good way to make amends with the fans. who might still be a bit salted that Ferguson didn't get the job. Some people are going a bit over top, especially Chelsea fans, with the appointment. Frank Lampard is going to succeed. Frank Lampard is going to win silverware with Everton. I think Everton are a long way to get silverware, I think. Honestly, I think Lampard's job, as soon as he comes in, is not get them relegated. And I think he will have the same impact like Gerrard did at Villa. I really do. Gerrard's come in now from Rangers, and he's transformed that team. He's gotten good signings. Coutinho, for example. He got Lucas Dina. They're linked with other players before the deadline. He's doing a fantastic job there. I think Lampard will make the same impact, and it'll be very interesting to see Aston Villa versus Everton now in the Premier League. It was a famous game back in 2009, and I think it was when Ashley Young scored that last minute goal. And it's kind of funny seeing Gerard Lampard be managers now, actual managers at the same time in the Premier League, because only a few years ago, they were just on BT talking absolute shite. Now, even as pundits, I found them pretty good. Better than Robbie Savage anyway. No offence, Robbie. But I'm looking to see that head-to-head in the Premier League between Gerard Lampard. It's going to be really interesting. My only concern with Lampard would be maybe if players aren't adapting to his style of play. He likes to play in the own attacking football. I think every manager says that nowadays for an interview job. But yeah, just playing attacking football, innit? My biggest concern is players aren't adopting to it. He's going to make an example of players, which is fair enough. But given how sensitive my generation is, they might throw up their hands or whatever. It's a tantrum. And he had issues with Rudiger at Chelsea, as I said before. So I think Lampard's learned a lot from his experience at Chelsea. Maybe now he's adopted a better man management approach when coming with those kind of players. But well, Lampard to Everton, I think it's a good, good fit. I think... It's all, all everything can get right now. They can't get Sedan for fuck's sake. Why was Sedan go to Liverpool? He didn't even go to Manchester. Okay, Liverpool's a better city. Shut up. But do you think this will be a good appointment? Lampard at Everton? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And thank you for your recent support. It really means a lot. 46 subscribers now. Let's get to 50 by the end of the week.
is please try to do that. But if you enjoyed the video, please like it. Subscribe if you're new around here. My name has been Ryan. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Chelsea!